It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Father, we thank you for your word. Hide us behind the cross. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse us by the words of Jesus. We'll praise you. We'll honor you. We'll thank you with many praises. In Jesus' name, Father. Amen. I'm not preach to you four hours as I planned, but I'll just preach till I get through. But I want to preach to you tonight on the just shall live by his faith. You know, lots of people, they don't know what's going on in these days. For the past few months. They really don't. It hasn't dawned on them yet that God has delivered unto us the faith that was once delivered to the saints. It hasn't dawned on them that there is something. Paul tells us in 2 Thessalonians, he said, Your faith groweth exceedingly. We are in the faith. I said, we are in the faith. Hebrews tells us in the 10th chapter that if any man draws back from the faith, he goes into perdition. Satan rocked them to sleep in their bed. 
condemnation. Satan locked him into sleep in the faith of men. They came teaching the doctrines of men as the apostle Paul said, my gospel, my word, my teaching, my gospel was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Today the denominations have established their people faith in the wisdom of men and not in the power of God. And that's why they will not be able to overcome or to stand in the day of the beast. The Bible said, who can stand and make war on the beast? Who can overcome the beast? I tell you, who can overcome the beast? The Bible said, these are they, the, the patience of the saints. This is the patience of the saints. These are the ones that have kept the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. And that faith of Jesus was the faith that was best delivered to the saints. And me and you better grasp for this faith. And we better begin to live by this faith. Because the only way God has prophesied to us for years, I know since 69, that by 77 we better get ready to live by faith. I know seven years ago, God spoke to me, said, by 1977, my people are going to have to learn to live by faith. The righteous, the saint of God, the children of God is going to have to live by his faith. And God told me to teach the people to leave the cities and begin to learn how to trust God, put themselves in positions, in positions where they could, could talk to God. Try their faith. Exercise their faith. Let their faith go. Instead of every time you get in a mess, you got to go work it out through a lawyer. Silly Billy Bunch. Every time they get in a finance and need, they got to go to a friend. Every time they need a car, they got to go to the loan company. Every time they need a house, they got to go to the bank. They never trusted God for nothing. You know why they've never began, kept God's word to the fullness where God can trust them with an indwelling of His word that as they're binding Him and His words are binding them that they can learn to ask what they will that God actually will teach you how that by your faith you can live. It didn't say that you shall receive miracles by faith. It didn't say that you shall, when you need God, exercise faith. It didn't say when you need a healing to have faith. It didn't say when you need a financial miracle to have faith. It didn't say when you get sick to have faith. It didn't say when a young man gets bound to the devil to have faith. It said that the church shall every day and every night live by his It's something that you live by. It ain't something that you exercise when you want God to give you clothes or to give you food or to give you uh, houses and land. But it's something you actually have inside of you that you live by, that you walk by, that you go forth and waken to and you go to sleep to and you meet the devil with. You meet the devil right where he's at. Face the devil right on his own ground. You don't back up. You stand where you are. And you said, Mr. Devil, I've got news for you. Tremble. I've got the faith that Jesus gave me. I've got the faith that Jesus imparted. This is a thing that Jesus delivered unto us. But you saw how the church had, how cunning and craftiness and how the fallen stars and how the clouds would become without water. How that there'd be no rain in the clouds. How there'd be no light of rain. There wouldn't be no Holy Ghost rain. He saw how they'd have forms. How they'd have clouds. How they'd have systems. and How they'd be fallen stars, fallen ministers. But he said that after all this time, he told us said to, to remember, to earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the children of God to the saints. Because the just shall live by his faith. Rebecca, he looked down through the telescopes of time and he saw vision. God said, come up here on this tower. Because the Habakkuk was a prophet what a kind of And that's why people don't understand a prophet. They don't understand what a prophet's talking about. They don't understand what a man that sees something. But he sees. I tell you why you can't understand. You need in the spirit of what he's seeing. You 
got to get in the spirit of what I'm talking about. You got to bleed in your heart. And when you begin to bleed in your heart, what God chose. And Habakkuk was called. And he said, I set up on my watch. I set up on my watch. And I got up on my top. Isaiah said, oh, come watch me. Ezekiel said, come watch me. Set up on your tower. That's what the church world don't like. That's what the preachers don't like. David too. He sets up on his watch. And he sees the cunningness. He sees the craftiness. He sees the deceitfulness that's going on in men's heart. And that's why they got them. Oh, they keep fighting with the word. So that's why they got to plaster my name from mouth to mouth as an evil one. Somebody told me yesterday, just for church, said, you know what they're telling on me? I said, well, I said I didn't want to hear, but tell me a little. I want to know what, what, what they got going now. And he told me, I said, this stuff. I said, that they, they told that on me 20 years ago. And I said, that's as old as preachers. So I ain't worried about that. My God, I've done had revivals through that. And I ain't telling them no worse than that. I said, I'm like, Hallelujah! I've had everything from the infernal people. <laughs> I've had the infernal people. Everything from detectives. And everything else put on my trail. But every trail that trails after me leads us right back to God. Hallelujah. Thank God I want you to know, children of God, back up. But God said, come up on your watch. Get here upon this time. Let me show you something. And Rebecca, he's seen a people. He's seen a people way out yonder. Oh my God, he didn't know where they was at the start, but he's seen a people. He's seen a people that was possessed with something that could pluck up a sycamore tree. He saw a people that was possessed with something that could move a mountain. And he began to look and he thought, what, what does it take? And he thought about Abraham. Abraham was a man of faith. He thought about Moses. Moses was a man of faith. He thought about Joshua. How Joshua looked up and he stopped the sun and he stopped the moon and he tore down the walls of Jericho and he thought, my God, what faith. And he looked at these people and he saw them doing greater works than stopping the moon. He saw them doing greater works, hallelujah, than stopping the sun. He saw them doing greater works than part the Red Sea. He saw them put back on arms that was took off. He saw people, hallelujah, that was uh, put back on legs. He saw people that was opening blind eyes. He saw people that was taking old cancers and just making them whole. He saw people that was taking women's hands and making them straight down. He saw people that was cleansing the leprosy. He saw people that could stay over a dead man and say, rise and come forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He thought, my God, I've seen, I've read, and I've heard of, well, through my forefathers, how that Moses, by his rock, brought the flies and the frogs and the lice and then took them away by his faith. I saw, I, it was handed down, I read in the great scrolls of how that Moses went upon the mountain and the glorious area that could look upon his face. But he said, I see a people that can make the blind see. I see a people that can actually say what they will and they're just saying a word and it's just coming to pass. He said, what thing? He looked at him and he saw these people were well, people wise as serpents and harmless as doves. He looked at them, he didn't see no fog count. They were pure and white. They were clean, they were just in time by the word of God. They have been called and chosen, ordained, and conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. And they were righteous people, the sanctified people, the holy people. And he looked at my God, these are people without fault, without wrong. And they're holy, they're righteous, they're just. And he looked at this just people, and he saw their fine. Yes, sir. 
said, and the judge shall live by his. It wasn't Peter's faith. It wasn't Matthew's faith. It wasn't John's faith. The great the woman with the issue of blood hold. Jesus said, woman, thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith. Jesus said the blind Bartimaeus, according to your faith, stop seeing. He looked up and he saw the men's faith and let down the man on the bed with that posse. He looked up and he saw thy faith. And he turned to the man that sick and had posse on the bed and he said, Man, thy sins be forgiven thee. Right up and walk. The Pharisees and scribes, hypocrites and critics said, What man has power on earth to forgive sin? He speaks blasphemy. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, turned around and said, Which is easy to say, Man, thy sins be forgiven thee. Or to say, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man had power upon the earth to forgive sin. said, I'm only doing what I was told. Hallelujah. Because I had posse, but now I'm cold. In the glory of God, they said, how did you be cold? said, there was a four men out of faith that they could get rid of Jesus. And Jesus looked up and saw them. See, four men brought in a man on a bed. And he looked up and saw their faith. And I was made whole by their faith. There's a faith to be made whole by. There's a faith to be a by. Jesus Christ that was once delivered under the holy apostles and prophets, the holy men of the scriptures, the disciples and apostles, as they came forth, no wonder they could speak the word of God to lame legs and say, faith in Jesus' name, which you hold. No wonder that God done great miracles and signs and wonders. The great miracles were wrought by the hands of Stephen. No wonder. Let me tell you this much. It was because they had been impregnated by a faith and that faith was a faith. Take the 
He got about halfway up, and a all the voice spoke out of the heavens and said, What is it? The just shall live by his faith. Said, Stand up on your feet. And at that instant, Martin Luther received the revelation of the reformation of faith. And he began to preach that the, the sinners, he began to preach that men is justified by faith. By faith in God, the Bible said it's not a word to any man's boast, but it's grace through faith that you're saved. And that faith that you're saved by through the grace of God is the faith that he was taught to you from the scriptures. And it preachers, it keeps the truth and teach you that you can actually grow up with that faith that is a mustard seed faith in your heart that will grow and you'll grow in grace, you'll grow in knowledge and you'll grow in spirit and you'll grow in faith and as you grow up that faith will be exercised and you will learn every move you make and if the church would preach to their members that the children of God can live by his faith, then the hospitals that will have to go out of business, the nurses and doctors will have to start preaching. Let me tell you something, the hospitals is doing the job, is taking care of the church in business. The hospitals and nurses are taking care of the preacher's business. God didn't say, when you get sick, to, to go to the doctor. God didn't say, when you get sick, to go to, to the hospital and to get cut on you. God said, if any sick among you, let him call to the elders of the church. Let the Lord of the Lord pray the Lord of the Lord in the name of the Lord. In the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if they have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Today, you better not trust your sick body into the hands of some of these creatures. You'll die. You ain't got the faith. Never have had for themselves. People used to be born and raised at home. Folks had faith. But now they're born and raised in the hospital. <laughs> Thank you. Born and raised in the hospital because they hadn't received the faith that was once delivered. You have to receive this faith. When you hear it, you got to accept it. The word receive means to accept. The word to receive means to abide and receive it. Let it abide in you. You can just hear me preach this and go out there and take a man the other day put a twenty dollar bill in my hand, hobbled up on one leg, and I took his hand and the Holy Ghost went all over me. And God spoke to me right there, and I ain't said a word about it. The boss spoke to me said one of these days, and it won't be long. To men like that, it's going to come up, put a piece of money in your hand with one leg, and said, all of a sudden they're going to feel another leg. I've uh, done dropped out, and they're walking back on their own. Hallelujah. And I was shouting, and I spoke in tongues, and the glory of God. Hallelujah. I shut my eyes and opened my eyes right quick, looking for a leg. Hallelujah. I said, that's all right. I'm going to look for these days. It's going to be there, and it ain't going to be long. The call I can feel is faith to come at all. Them telescopes of time. He saw those people of faith. He saw those righteous folks. He saw those justified. The Bible said you're justified by faith. Didn't he? And he saw those justified people that have been justified by the washing of the water of the word, by the word of God, by the grace of God, by their faith in God, because they believed in the only begotten of the Father.
us, Lord. God, let us not sleep as do others, but help us to watch and be sober. Help us to watch and pray that we might be counted worthy to escape. Lord, all these things is happening in the earth. Lord, you said darkness is covering this earth. Lord, we see how the evil is spreading. Lord, we see how men's hearts, Lord, have been darkened. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should shine unto them. Lord, we see that the judgment, Lord, we see the earthquakes coming. The earthquakes trembling. Lord, the whirlwinds coming. God, the hurricanes are being stirred up. Lord, we see how inflation is increasing. Our economy is looking like it's about to crash. And we're heading into a recession. Lord, we're heading into a darkness. Lord, help us, Lord, to wake up. Help us, Lord, to wake up. Help us, Jesus, to shake ourselves. Lord, help us to examine ourselves. To see if we be in the faith. Or to see if we be reprobate. Lord, you said you gave them a reprobate mind because they didn't have a love for the truth. They didn't want to acknowledge you. They didn't want to take heed to your word. So you turn them over to strong delusions. You turn them over to God vile affections. Lord, to work unseemly, men with men, women with women. Lord, men being deceived, seducing spirits, strong delusions. Lord, we see all this happening. In the world today, we see all of this happening in our time, Lord. God, but you're telling your people to wake up. You're telling your people to stir themselves up. You're telling your people to stir themselves up to take a hold of you. To take a hold to the altars. To take a hold to prayer. God, to draw it out of you so you can draw it out of us. To return unto you so you can return to us. You said your spirit will have no pleasure in them that draw back. But God will not have them that draw back. But to them that believe. To the saving of our souls. Lord, we're going to have to work together. Lord, we're going to have to come together in the unity of the faith. Give us that unity of faith. Give us that unity of love. Give us that unity in your word. Give us that unity of the spirit. Give us that mind to work. Give us that mind to work together. Give us that mind to pray. Give us the mind of Christ. Give us the mind, Jesus. You said let that mind that was in Jesus. Let it be in us. Jesus, help us, Lord. To earnestly contend for this faith that was once delivered. Lord, to get in these altars, to cry out, to seek you while you may be found, call upon you while you're near. Lord, I know that there's a great move that's coming. We know, Lord, that you're going to send a move of your spirit. But Lord, you're telling us, Lord, it's not going to fall in our laps. It's not just going to be handed to us just because you said it. Lord, you said for this you shall be inquired of. You said this kind coming now but by prayer and fasting. Lord, help us, Lord, the purpose in our hearts. Lord, to dedicate our lives to you. To lay down our lives for you. To offer our bodies as living sacrifices. Holy and acceptable. To allow your word to clean us up. To clean up our minds. To clean up our hearts. To clean up our thoughts. To clean up our ways. Jesus, you said our ways are not your ways. You said if the heavens are higher than the earth, so are your ways higher than our ways. Help us, Lord, to, to go your way. Help us to do it your way. Help us to be doers of your word. Help us to strive to enter in the straight day. Help us to take hold to prayer. Help us to empty out ourselves. Help us to offer our bodies to you. Help us to lift up our hearts to you. Help us to offer our minds to you. Because we've been bought with a price. 
Lord, we're not our own. Lord, we belong to you. We belong to you, Lord. You made us for signs and wonders. To raise us up to be children. To raise us up to be sons. To raise us up to be daughters. To raise us up so your word can be manifested in us. Lord, help us, Lord. God, to offer our bodies to you as living sacrifices. Holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. Not being conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Let our minds be renewed by your word. Then you said we're clean to the word that you have spoken unto us. Let your word continue to clean us up. Let your word continue to sanctify us. Let your word continue to set us apart from the world. Let your word, Lord, continue to set us apart from ungodliness. Let your word continue, Lord, to go in our hearts and purify us. God, to get all the spots out, to get all the wrinkles out, to get all the blemishes out, to get all the world out, to get all the flesh out, so we can lay our lives down for you. Lord, so we can go forth and declare your generation. My God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we're earnestly contending tonight. We're knocking on the doors of heaven tonight. We're asking you, Lord, to give us that touch. Grant it to us the mind of Christ. Grant it to us, Lord, a spirit of prayer. Grant it to us a spirit of intercessory. Grant it to us, Lord, a spirit of consecration. God, grant it to us, Lord, when we we'll offer ourselves to you. We are when we love not our lives, even unto death, if it comes down to it, my God, in the name of Jesus, put a wagon in your people, put a star in your people, put a spirit of prayer in your people, put a cry in your people, put a travail in your people, put a weeping in your people. You said, my people, who are called by my name, that they humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. God turn from their wicked ways. You said, then will I hear from heaven and heal their land. Lord, we need our land healed. We see America has been turned over to darkness. We see America has gone that broad road. Lord, we see America has been that ship headed for that iceberg. God, ready to go down. My God, in the name of Jesus, will all we call upon you tonight. We humble ourselves we ask for your mercy tonight. We ask for your forgiveness tonight. We ask for your strength tonight. We ask for your help tonight. We ask for your anointing tonight. We ask for your spirit to cause us to break up our fallen ground. Let our spirits, Lord, be broken. Let our wills be broken. Lord, let our minds be transformed. God, in the name of Jesus, will we call upon you tonight. Oh, we're calling upon you tonight. We're calling upon you tonight. You said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. Oh, we're looking unto you. We're not looking at what the president is talking about. Lord, we're not looking at what the White House is talking about. Lord, we're not looking at what the governors and the lawmakers are talking about. We're not looking at what God the LGB is talking about. Lord, we're not looking at what the world is talking about. We're looking at you for a great visitation. We're looking at you for a great move of God. Lord, we're looking at you so your glory can be revealed in us. You said Christ in us. There's no hope of glory. Christ in us is that light of rain. Christ in us is the kingdom. Christ in us is going to pull man out of darkness. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you said you brought many sons unto glory. Lord, bring us into that glory. Bring us into that light of rain. Bring us into that meditation. Lord, do our eyes when I say that we may see. Put a cry in our hearts. Put a star in our souls. Let it awaken and cause us, Lord, to rise and shine. Let that light that you put inside of us will rise up and stand up for you. To stand up for your truth. To stand up for your word. To stand up for the gospel. To stand up against this darkness. To stand up against these principalities. You said you beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. God, you said you give us power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. And nothing 
shall by any means hurt us. Bring us into this place that you have prepared for us. Bring us into this place that you have prepared for us. You say you go and prepare a place for us. Lord, that where you are, there we may be also. God, you said that we touch not, that we taste not, that we handle not that which is unclean. You will receive us. We want you to receive us. Lord, we want you to receive us. We want you to revive us. Lord, we want you to restore us. We want you to anoint us. We want you to pour out your spirit upon us. Help us tonight. Lord, you said that we ask and to be given up to us. That we seek and we'll find you. That we knock and the door will be open. Lord, we're knocking tonight. Jesus, we're knocking tonight. Jesus, we're knocking tonight. You said, which of us having a son? If he has prayer, we're not going to give him a stone. Lord, we ask for a fish. We're not going to give him a serpent. Lord, if he asks for an egg, we're not going to give him a scorpion. You said we, you know how to give good gifts to your children. You know how to give the Holy Ghost to them. God, that obey. Lord, you know how to pour out your spirit when the time comes. You said it's not for us to know the times or the season which the Father has put in his own power. When you said we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon us. You said that we tear away. We be a do with that power. That's why we're knocking tonight. That's why we're waiting upon you tonight. That's why we're taking hold to these altars tonight. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we're knocking on the door of heaven. We need you to rent those heavens. Pour out your spirit. Rent those heavens. Pour out the Holy Ghost. Rent those heavens. And pour out that ladder rain. Rent those heavens to make your name known to the devil. To make your name known to these principalities. To make your name known to your adversaries. You said that the melted fire burning. The fire causing the water to boil. Let the fire of your spirit cause the water of life that you put inside of it to swell up. Let the fire cause us to swell up to preach your word. Let the fire cause us to swell up to pray. Let the fire cause us to swell up to take hold of you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, help us tonight. You said the labors are few. Oh, raise up labors. I said, y'all pray with him. Join him. Come raise on. up labors. There's a good spirit of prayer. Get raise up sons. Spirit of faith. Raise up daughters. Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus is in the house. Mighty God. Jesus is in the house. Help us, Lord. Jesus is in the house. We need you tonight. Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in the house. To touch us. To strengthen us. To encourage us, to build us up, to ignite fire inside of our spirit. Jesus is in the house. Tell the Lord, walk in me, talk in me, live in me. Let me be a temple for the Holy Ghost to take its full of all in. Let this faith of Jesus Christ come alive in me so that I can bring healing to the sick. So that you can use these hands to cast out devils. Use these hands to rebuke spirits of infirmities. Use these hands to drive away cancer. To curse the roots of cancer. Use this mouth to speak your word. Tell it. God, use my mouth to speak your word. Use my eyes to see the need. Use my tongue to testify. Use my mouth to prophesy. Use my heart for the Spirit of God to dwell in and for the love and compassion of Jesus to flow through me. Hear my Lord. Hear my Lord. Let me be a vessel of honor. Let me be a vessel that the Holy Ghost can flow like rivers of living waters. Let me be a vessel that the anointing of God can come upon and anoint me to break the yokes, to drive back sickness, to drive back diseases. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Koshala, yere nele me kishwa, la la wule le me kishwa la la mando la makoya, yere le na ma, in the end my people, let your hearts cry unto the Lord thy God, for these are the days that just shall live by His faith. And this is the anointing and the spirit of faith that shall build up your inner man. Your inner man must be built up. 
determinate. I will cause that seed of faith to grow as a mountain. I will cause that seed of faith to rebuke and drive back the darkness and even the devil that have come to afflict you. The enemy that have come. I will roar loud. I will stop him. I will stop him. I will stop him. For I'm about to bring revival. I'm about to bring a move of my spirit. I'm about to give birth to the man child. I'm about to give birth to miracles and to signs and the wonders and the diver gifts of the Holy Ghost. Be encouraged. Continue to press in. Continue to strive for the faith that was once delivered under the church. For I am that that I am is come down. I've seen the afflictions. I know the sorrow. I've heard and I've come down to bring deliverance to my handmaids, to my servants, to my sons, to my daughters, to my young men, to my old. Therefore the Lord would say, present your bodies unto me as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. For I am that I am, and I have not changed.
are praying with us, those that are online and praying and believing with us, we release this word of faith, Lord, to heal, to deliver, to break those powers, to break victory, to break a renewing, to break revival and restoration, bring salvation, to drive back, Lord, every evil spirit that tries to hinder them. Send your word. Drop back that infirmity. Drop back that torment. Drop back that fear. Drop back that bondage. Drop back that oppression. Drop back that sickness. Drop back that disease. Right now. 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 Lift your hands. Release your faith. Release your faith. Jesus Use that faith in you. God's given you a measure of faith. Use it. 
Use it. Use it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Check my nails hand and tell them, use their faith for your miracle, your healing, your deliverance, your strength. Faith is a victory that overcomes the world. There's a victory here. There's a victory here. There's a word of faith in you. There's a spirit of faith in you. Oh, glory. Be healed. Be delivered. Break. Oh, my God. I feel the yoke's break broken. I feel something being turned loose. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.